bucket bag. For this, you'll need some fun vinyl fabric. Fold one side over and pin it like this. Apply hot glue along the edge. Fold it and glue it together. Remove the pins. Now do the same on the other side. Fold in the edge and hot glue the edges together. Punch holes in the top corners like this. Fold the bag in half so that the opposite sides are touching and fold the center piece together. And punch another hole through the center. You should have four holes on each side of the purse when you're done. Thread some string through the holes. You can gather the top of the purse together, like this. Use a jewelry chain as the purse strap. Just hot glue the ends to the inside of the bag. Use a chopstick to push the chain into place. Gather the bag closed and tie the string. Cut off the excess string. Now to accessorize. Get some decorative beads. Use a needle to hot glue the end of the string inside the hole in the bead. That is a high fashion bag. Mini burger. Get a medicine dropper or syringe from the medicine cabinet. Take the syringe apart and cut off the top of the inside. Use it as a mini bun cutter. Pierce it through a hamburger bun like this. Cut off the other end and push the bun out with a chopstick. Cut open the bun. Now use your cutter to make some cheese slices. Next, make the patty. Cut out a piece of lunch meat. Slice a small cucumber and a cherry tomato. Top it off with the other piece of cheese and the bun. Use a toothpick to hold it all together. Use a makeup lid as a plate and cut out some tiny napkins. That is one impressive burger. Hair comb. Use an old mascara wand and cut off the end. Hot glue a pearl to the end. And brush all the tangles away. Flamingo! For this hack, you'll need a stack of pink tissue paper. Start by accordion folding the paper in a one inch sections all the way across. Staple the middle section to keep your folds intact. Now use your scissors to round off the ends. When you fan out the paper, you'll have this beautiful scalloped look. Now separate the layers of tissue paper to add some volume and make a fluffy tissue paper ball. Stick in some bendy straws for legs and glue in a paper flamingo head. Look at this cute flamingo. You can even cut
cut slits in a kitchen sponge to make a stand for your new friend. Adorable! Bookmark. You'll want to grab a square of colored paper for this one. Start by folding the paper in half. Fold each side about a third of the way from the far edge and crease. Now fold the paper back in half and use the creases as a guide. Make diagonal cuts in the paper like this. Unfold the paper and fold down every other slit of paper. Fold the sides back and look at this cool design. The bookmark is stunning as is, but to add a little extra flair, grab a contrasting piece of colored paper and glue a loop of ribbon on top. Place the contrasting paper inside and glue the two ends of your original paper together. You'll never lose your place in your book with this cool bookmark. Rose Heart. Start by cutting a piece of paper into a circle, then make a cinnamon roll cut in the paper all the way to the center. Now, starting on the outside edge, roll the paper between your fingers, stopping to glue every so often. Do this all the way to the center and glue the end to secure it. Repeat with any other scrap paper you have for a big pile of roses and glue them all to a paper heart. This would make a beautiful 3D Valentine. Flowers! For this one, we're using our colored napkins. Start by cutting off the seams of your napkins so you have sheets of napkins in one big long rectangle. Repeat this step with other colors. Fold the napkins halfway down the stack like this and cut across the center. Tie some twine around the center of your folded napkin to secure it. Trim off any extra twine. Now cut off the corners to make a point on each end. Fan your napkin out and separate the layers. You can add stems by taking a wooden dowel and twisting the bottom layers around the dowel before securing it with some twine. Look at these big paper peonies. Gift box. Start by grabbing a couple colored squares. Bring two corners together to make a triangle fold. Bring each of the corners up to the center point. Repeat this step with the other two colors. Now slide the end of one color into the opening of another color until it fits the triangle space of the other sides. Now fold the top points down and bring the sides together by slipping the last end into the pocket of the opposite side. Now look at this awesome geometric gift box. It's perfect for tiny things. Phone holder. Grab a piece of paper and fold it in half. Use the seam as a guide to fold the opposite ends to the center. Now flip the paper over and hamburger fold it in half. Flip the paper back around and bring the corners to the center of the opposite sides, crease and release. unfold the paper and push the center piece of paper to the side and secure it with one flap to make an open-ended pyramid on each side of the paper. Now set the paper down point side up 
and you've got a jazzy new phone holder so you can watch Crafty Hacker's videos hands-free. Heart Garland. Fold a piece of paper in half lengthwise, and in even sections, cut the paper into strips. Cut each of these strips in half and staple four of these strips together. Bend the two outside strips down until they meet each other at a point. Sandwich that point between two more strips and staple to secure. Now continue with your remaining strips. Keep adding strips until the garland is at your desired length. This garland is lovely. Box. Use a bowl to trace a circle on a piece of paper. Now use a straight edge to make two lines going perpendicularly through the center of the circle. Now use those lines as a guide and place the bowl on the spots you marked to trace an intersecting circle like this. Now use the bowl like this to draw more guidelines. Cut around the outside edge of the two circles. Now use your bowl to help you make creases along your guidelines and fold the paper into a box shape like this. Use glue to secure the sides and secure your treasures in this tiny gift box. You can make it extra adorable by adding a piece of ribbon on the outside. Bubble Snake Maker. Here's a way to up your bubble game. Gather a plastic bottle, a sock, rubber band, some dish soap, and water. Start by using a box cutter to slice off the bottom of your plastic water bottle. Next, cut your sock like this and pull it over the open end of your water bottle. Secure it with a rubber band. Now for your bubble solution. Mix together a big squirt of dish soap and some water. Once it's all mixed together, take your contraption outside and pour some of the bubble solution inside the bottle. Close the cap and give it a nice healthy shake. Now uncap your bottle, wrap your mouth around the opening of the bottle and blow. Look at these crazy long bubble snakes. Rainbow Ribbon Wand. For this hack, you'll need a stick, a keychain ring, an eyelet, some markers, white ribbon, and some rubbing alcohol. Start by unrolling the ribbon and use your markers to draw in thick stripes. Once you've drawn the stripes, use the alcohol to help the colors blend together for a pretty watercolor look. Look at this tie-dye style masterpiece. Now put your key ring through the eyelet and screw the eyelet into the end of your branch. Pull one end of your ribbon through the key ring and use hot glue on the ribbon to secure it into a loop like this. Once the glue sets, it's time to break out your ribbon routine dance moves. Sock Bunny. If you're anything like me, you've got a lot of solo socks hanging around. Let's give one of those socks an adorable purpose. Grab a sock, some rice, a marker, some scissors, thread, and ribbon. Use a spoon to fill the sock with rice. Next, tie thread around the sock like this to make a head and body. Now make some bunny ears by cutting off any extra fabric from the top of the sock. Cut a V-shaped piece from the center to make two ears. Now it's time to decorate your bunny. Tie a ribbon around the neck for a dapper little bow tie and draw on its face with a marker. Look how snugly this chubby little guy is. Egg maracas. Don't put that rice away yet. It's time to make your own percussion section. You'll also need to grab some colored tape, plastic eggs, and spoons. Start by filling one half of your egg with rice. Seal the eggs shut and put the concave side of your spoons on either side of the plastic egg. Starting from the bottom, wrap everything in tape. Once you get all the way to the top, give these festive little maracas a shake. Gift paper Barbie dress. 
Here's an easy way to give Barbie a fresh new look. Grab your glue stick, a plate, a pencil, and some rubber band. First, glue two rectangles of paper together and roll your Barbie up to make a simple tube dress. Use glue stick to hold it in place. Next, use a plate to trace out a big circle. Now mark the space for a smaller circle in the center. Stack some sheets of tissue paper and use your top sheet as a guide to cut out two more circles. Fold the circle in half and cut out a small circle in the center. Pull the circle around Barbie's waist and secure it in pleats with a glue stick. Now pull one of the tiny elastic bands around Barbie's waist to hold the skirt in place. Fold the remaining sheets in half and then half again. Now snip off the tip to make a hole in the center. Glue the layers together around the center circle. Now slide Barbie's legs through the center hole. Shape the layers and glue them in place. Lastly, use scissors to shape the neckline of the dress. This little lady is ready to be seen. Tissue Barbie Wedding Dress Oh no, it's Barbie's wedding day and all you have to wear are Kleenex. Don't get cold feet just yet. Fold the tissue into a thin rectangle and twist. Wrap around Barbie's neck to make a halter top. Next, fold the tissue in half and make a fold about an inch thick. Glue it down and wrap this piece around Barbie's waist. Glue down any extra tissue in the back. Next, use your glue stick to attach slightly crumpled pieces of tissue along the waist to make a fuller skirt. Use your hands to scrunch the tissue to make a slightly fuller skirt. Now Barbie's ready to say I do. Toy frame. Here's a way to spruce up an inexpensive IKEA frame. Let's have some fun. Just unscrew the frame from its original base, then hot glue the frame to the top of a toy car. Drop in your favorite picture, and here you go! This little guy is going places. See you later, little buddy! Bottle Stopper Remember that Barbie we used earlier? Well, here's a good use for the rest of her. You'll need a plastic dinosaur and some dice, too. Heat up the blade and cut off an appendage from the doll's body. Next, find some old corks. If they don't fit in the bottle, use an X-Acto knife to trim them down. Smooth the cork with some sandpaper. Perfect fit. Now spray paint your toy parts. Use latex gloves to keep the paint from staining your fingers. Use a hot glue gun to glue the objects on top of the cork. Now those are some fancy bottle stoppers. Lego napkin holder. Here's a cool use for those leftover Legos. On a Lego base, add a few of the flat pieces like this. Add some of the narrow pieces along the outside. Grab some of the taller pieces to build up. On the next layer, leave space between the little blocks. Create your own design as you build up the napkin holder. Keep building. Use as many different colors and sizes as you want. Create a finished look at the top with these single layer Legos. Slide your napkins in and enjoy your beautiful masterpiece. Toy Planter. Got an old rubber ducky? Let's give him a new life. For this, you'll want to carefully heat up the blade of your X-Acto knife to make it easier to cut the rubber ducks. Cut a hole in the top of the duck's back. The opening should look like this. Now add some potting soil.
Give it some water and watch it grow. These planters make great gifts. Sunglasses. For this, you'll need craft wire, aluminum foil, scissors, wire cutting pliers, and tweezers. Cut a piece of wire and measure it to Barbie's face. Cut the extra wire away. Twist the wire into the shape of sunglasses. Use a chopstick to help you get the right shape. Measure where Barbie's other eye is and bend the wire to finish the sunglasses frame. Use a second chopstick to guide the frame. Cut the ends so that they are even and shape them to fit around her ears. Cut out little circles in aluminum foil to fit in the frames. Hot glue the foil into the frames. Now Barbie is ready for summer. Earrings. Here's a way to make one-of-a-kind earrings from your old comic books. Check it out! Get an earring making kit from the jewelry section of the craft store. Use the clear front as a guide when you cut out the picture you want so it's the same size as your earring. Trace around the front of the earring with an X-Acto knife. Pop out your picture. Now do the same for the other earring. Use a glue stick to glue the picture onto the earring. Now assemble the hook to the back of the earring. Use pliers to tighten the fastener. Glue the front of the earring with the picture inside to the earring back. Now you've got super earrings. Table placemat. Here's a way to add some fun to your dining experience. Pull out your favorite comic book and open it up to the middle. Carefully remove the center pages. Cut it to fit your clear page protector and slide it in. Now you've got a cool placemat. Comic book lamp. Do you remember that comic book we cut in half? Well, grab another half and get ready to turn it into a lamp. Cut a bunch of random pieces of different shapes and sizes out of the comic book. Trace out your favorite symbol, like the Batman symbol. Use it as a template and trace it onto a page out of the comic. Cut it out. Now use an X-Acto knife to cut the bat symbol out of the page. It should look like this when you're done. Apply some glue to the back of your symbol and glue it to a wine bottle. Use a damp paper towel to remove any excess glue. Next, grab your comic page pieces and some glue. Apply the glue to the outside of the bottle with a paintbrush. Glue the pieces to the bottle. Keep going until you've got the whole bottle covered. It looks like this. Now for the lamp part. Feed some string lights inside the bottle. Turn the lights on to illuminate the bat signal. Comics for plants. Did you know you can use comics to grow plants? Grab an old comic book and a small tray. Set the comic book onto the tray in the upright position. Secure it with a rubber band and grab some seeds. We chose oregano seeds, but feel free to choose whatever seeds you like. Put the seeds between the pages of the book. Pour water onto the tray and on top of the book. The seeds will sprout right out of the pages. Now a plant's growing out of the top. <music> 3D panel. Here's a cool trick. First, get a print of your favorite superhero logo and put it over a page in a comic book. Cut out the logo with an X-Acto knife. Use a glue stick to glue the comic book page logo onto a white piece of paper. Cut off the white paper on the outside. Stick foam stickers on the back of the logo. Add another layer of foam stickers. Now glue the foam stickers to the inside of a picture frame. Now you've got a 3D art piece in the shape of your favorite superhero logo. Boutonniere. 
Want to have a totally original boutonniere for a superhero themed wedding party? Check this out. Pull your favorite pages from your comic book. Measure the page into three equal sections with a ruler. Cut them out in strips. Do the same for the second page. Now that you got them cut out, measure even squares at the top and cut them out. Use these squares as a template and cut out more squares that are the same size. Origami time! Fold your square into a triangle. Then fold the corners up to the top point. Open the fold and fold again so that they point out to the side. Fold the corners back and then fold the edges up. Glue the sides together. Use tweezers to pull folds to center. Repeat with the other comic squares until you have a bunch. Now glue the pieces together to make a flower. Make smaller flowers using smaller comic squares. Cut some pieces of craft wire and feed them through the center of the flower. Wrap a piece of craft wire around the wire stems of the flowers. Use wire cutting pliers to cut away the excess wire. Wrap a ribbon around the wire to make a nice stem. Glue the ribbon into place. Add a cut ribbon detail at the top with a hot glue gun. Can you believe this used to be a comic book page? Bag for small things. Pull out your favorite comic book and rip out a page. Cut it to size. Then wrap the page around a shampoo bottle. Glue the comic book like this. Then fold the bottom of the page and glue it together. Once the glue is dry, remove the bottle. Put in your belongings and close it with a binder clip. Now you've got a stylish way to store your small items just like a superhero. Bookmark. Here's a clever way to make a bookmark. Trace out an L shape in a page of your comic. Cut it out. Trace two diagonal lines in the shape and cut them out. Now it looks like an arrow. Fold the corner of the arrow down. And fold the other corner over it. Glue it into place. Attach the bookmark over the corner of the page you want to save. Now you can easily find your page again. And those were our 10 ways to recycle old comic books in superhero crafts. Thanks for watching Crafty Hackers. Please subscribe to our channel for even more hacks. See you later.